exactly two years ago, we put the Toyota RAV4 up against a serious Japanese rival, the Subaru Forester. And we were very surprised when it performed extremely well in almost every way that you can measure a car. But there's now a facelift, and what a facelift it is. The whole nose is radically different with LED headlights and a modern sharp look. They've given the rear a nip and tuck too, and there are some interior tweaks. But where this car really shines is the engine bay. There is a 2.0-litre and a 2.5-litre petrol available, but this 2.2-litre turbo diesel is the pick of the bunch. It offers 110 kilowatts and 340 newton meters. And what that means in English is that there is a lot of oomph. The car is quite punchy and it's actually very easy to drive. But most importantly, over our month-long tests of this car, we achieved consumption figures of 7.5 liters to the 100. Now that's a very nice figure for such a large car. And it means that when you fill this car's tank, which will cost you about 600 Rand for 60 liters of diesel, you should see about 800 kilometers on each tank. And so it seems that the RAV4 is the ideal family vacation vehicle. It's comfortable, it's spacious, and it's very economical. But at an asking price of 409,000 Rand, we were a bit disappointed to find out that it doesn't have cruise control or climate control, which are two really wonderful features when you're doing long distance cruising. For those two extras and others, such as park distance control and leather seats, you have to move up to the VX model, which requires 80,000 more of your Rands. But the RAV4 does have some really nice touches. For instance, these rear seats recline. Quite a lot, actually, which is really nice for rear passengers. And then in the boot, we find what I like to call a shopping hammock. Now this is brilliant for ensuring that your groceries don't roll around. And it's also great for securing very important breakable items like bottles of wine. The RAV4 is an iconic model and for a long time it didn't have much competition. But now if you're a buyer in this segment you have a lot of choice. There's the Mazda CX-5, the popular Hyundai iX35 and then of course there is the Nissan X-Trail which was a finalist in two different categories in our first ever Cars Awards. And while the RAV4 is a strong contender, the Nissan is slightly cheaper. It offers the option of seven seats. It has a bit less power from its 1.6 turbo diesel, but it does offer more interior space. And the warranty on the X-Trail is double the length of the warranty on this car. Even though the competition may have caught up, the RAV4 remains a favorite amongst South Africans. And for good reason, this facelift is an all-round improvement on a successful formula.